Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Johnny here, continuing where we left off, doing the rounds with our new friend, Mr. The Guard. Don't remember his name. Not the most action-packed mission, but quite immersive if you let yourself take in the rain sounds and stuff. It starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It would take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Looks really cool. The battlements and stuff. That's a tough life, man. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet now. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty to see me. Went for a nail. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler. And you'd better talk some sense into him. I'm from the Scully. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Uh. Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! That was deliciously clunky. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Ah, the guard life. We're gonna play some cards. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My word exactly. <laughs> and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the humans might creep up on us. Yeah, let's but just sit here. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Sorry, weren't we just discussing how we need to have our eyes on and the cumins and all that? Sounds good. Why not? Um... Wait, how does this work again? Okay, help. The goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown. Blah, blah. Okay. Oh! One is worth a hundred points. Three of a kind is worth a hundred points. Okay. 
Okay, the key element of the game is that if a throw does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn is over, and all points gained up to that point during the turn are lost. It is then that the opposing turns, uh, the opposing players turn the throw. Okay, this is too much information for me to take in. We'll just uh, try to. We'll hold. I don't know what hold die means. Uh, score and roll again. Hold die. And go again. Bust. Pushed it. Okay, I think we, we can quit. We can take a look at it later. It's not really the moment for me to take all of this in. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and... Closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Okay. Ring the bell. Oh, it's a little bell. I was picturing like a chapel bell. That's why I wasn't finding it. Okay, let's go. I swear sometimes this game is so difficult to figure out what exactly I'm looking for. That nobleman. What nobleman? Who are you talking about? Okay, I swear the markers don't really work that well. It, it's uh, it's a little bit annoying. There we go.
And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> 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 no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> Did <laughs> you find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save the bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. <laughs> you can't talk to me like that. I'm a <clears throat> nobleman. Come <clears throat> out, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Oh, God. Don't embarrass yourself, dude. Alright. Guess we're doing this. You'll get what for. Come here! Ah. 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 Teach that insolent cop a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Teach that insolent cop a lesson. Yeah, you already said that. What's the matter? That Come on. <laughs> oh. That was a good one. Crucifix! <laughs> what in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! To you shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here no. as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not anymore! Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey.
Oh, I don't want to go on a on a hunt with that guy. Please, no. Oh man. Okay. Are we done? Yeah, looks like we're meeting him at dawn. It's great looking forward to that. Let's see if we can get some sleep though. Hey, hold right there. Show me what you have on you. Uh, hold on. Come on. One second. Give me a moment. Um. Hey, we don't have anything stolen, do we? Yeah, we don't have anything stolen. What are you talking about? Why? Such are my orders. You want to pick over my personal effects? You can't be serious. Oh yeah, a likely story. If you insist. I don't have any that stolen items. Bit now, did it? Carry on. Yeah. Thanks for nothing. Eat from pot and sleep and save. We got a good night's sleep over here. Eight hours. Should be good. And we're gonna leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you have any thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.